Heike, heike, heike. Hi, everybody. I hope you're all having a good day. I hope you're all smiling and enjoying your lovely day. So in this following tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you on how to set up auto blink inside of Vinyan. Now, there are actually two different methods to set up auto blink in Vinyan. Method number one is basically we're going to be using Harleen's auto blink graph, which will make our character auto blink no matter what time. It will auto blink forever. So if you prefer that node graph, then this will be method number one. But method number two is actually a graph that you already have actually. It's in the Vinyan examples folder, um, which I will of course show you where you can find it. But basically that node graph is basically um, a look down auto blink graph. So if you're an artist and you're always looking down at your tablet and your blink tracking is messing up so much um, and you want your blinking to be very consistent only if you look down a lot then this is a node graph for you. It's made um, specifically to do that. So we're gonna set up, um, you know, again, I would not recommend setting up both graphs at the same time, because if you set up both graphs, you're probably going to break your blinking and probably break your eyes. So I would recommend only choose one graph that you absolutely need. So if you want to auto blink forever, choose Harleen's graph. But if you want to um, only auto blink when you look down, then choose the default Vignon examples graph. So either way, um, so basically we're going to go into node graphs here basically, um, and we're going to add a new graph. So method number one, where you can get that graph is actually only in the Vignon Discord server um, because Harleen is the one who made it. So I will leave a screenshot in front of me on where the exact location is uh, for getting the graph. So please make sure um, you get it from there. And of course, um, if you're in the Vignon Discord server, you can ask for feature requests or requests. Um, you can uh, report any bugs in the Vinyan Discord server, which is why I recommend joining um, Suvido Discord server. You can also nickname it the Vinyan Discord server, whichever you call it. It's Suvi there. She's there to help. Um, but either way, um, basically, uh, once you add a new graph, you're going to click on load. And I'm going to go ahead and load Harleen's uh, graph first. And basically, it'll look something like this. There's instructions that show you... Um, how exactly you can set it up basically. Um, but here though, you can set it as a hotkey actually, which is actually pretty nice. So you can set where the auto blinking is as a hotkey. Um, and you can also even set up a hotkey for if you want to reset your position tracking. It's kind of like VC Face's um, reset position hotkey thing, pretty much. Um, and also, by the way, just to let you know, Shift R is actually how you can also reset the position as well. Um, but of course, there's a global hotkey for that. So, either way, basically here, these are the timer nodes, which we're not touching those. But in case you're curious, these are timer nodes that affect the interval of the blinking. And over here, this is what we're going to be focusing on, I guess, um, depending on you. If you want to utilize your air kit blend shapes, you may. Otherwise, if by any chance you prefer your some other blinking, you will have to change the name of these blend shapes. So let's say, for example, you don't have air kit blend shape. All you have is the default VRM blend shape, which right here on the monitor, there is blink L and blink R like this. If you don't have air kit and you only have your default VRM blend shapes, then simply just type in blink Blink underscore L for the first blend shape node here. Uh, for these, you don't really have to do anything because they are not even connected. But if you want to do some editing with the graph and utilize these nodes, you may rename it, but it's like it's unnecessary. And then we're going to name this node graph to Blink R. I'll also just in case, but it's not needed. Um, but basically, mainly these two nodes, you got to name them accordingly. And then all you have to do is trigger, um, which I'll right click and send signal so you can see me doing it, but uh, for your case you're going to press your hotkey button, send signal, and I'm going to stare straight into your eyes. There you go. <laughs> I blink automatically. I'm staring. There you go. I am staring into your soul. Yeah. So that is how you can set up auto blinking. Um, that's method number one. This is basically forever. So if you want it to blink nonstop, this is basically how you do it. Um, but what if you don't want it to auto blink forever? You only want it to auto blink when you look down. Well, we're going to show you um, method number two. So make sure you add a new graph here. 
And method number two is actually located in the Vignon example folder. I will screenshot to show you how, uh, where exactly it is, file path wise, and just the name. Um, but you're going to press on the load button right here, say yes. And then you're going to go into, um, I'm going to have to go and hunt down the folder here. So do excuse me, um, but it's in here, examples, auto blink. And there you go, basically. And pretty much if you use ARKit blend shapes already and you know, uh, you like you're like I said, this only works if you look down basically. So um, pretty much all you have to do is just right click send signal and then right click send signal here and then the auto blinking will happen only if you look down. Now, um, of course I will say as well if you have um I'll, I'll say this, uh, if by any chance you have, um, let's say you have your VR and blend shapes only, like you can't, um, you can, like you don't have air kit blend shapes, all you have is the VR and blend shape, you're going to have to rename every blend shape slot from I blink left to blink underscore L or blink underscore R. Um, it'll be for these blend shapes these blend shape nodes and then these so basically three sets you're gonna have to change if it has to be your default VRM blend shape um, as I showed earlier um, but if you just want it where it's triggered by AR kit basically um, then by all means uh, you could be able to set up here now I will also say as well by the way um, I will also say as well, basically, this is um, the blend shape that will kind of be on focus uh, for when you look down, basically. So if, um, by any chance, uh, you should be able to see the camera blend shape here in the monitor. I'll show you. Which mine is all the way down here. So that's where mine is. But the thing is, is that... If you don't have your camera blend shapes, basically, I would recommend add it on your VRM file if you cannot see it at all. So double check, they should be in Vignon by default, otherwise if it's not there, um, then you can um, add it to your VRM file. It's named exactly this, and this should be able to be detected. Um, but either way though, that's another way of auto blinking. You can mess with that other node. I know my, my blinking for some reason is, um, on automatically. Not sure if I bork something on accident. Um, but I'm just wanting to at least demonstrate those nodes. Um, I could, let me know if I made any other mistakes though, because sometimes I can make a little mistake when explaining the nodes. But I just want to at least bring some awareness on how to do auto blinking inside of Vignan, basically. But whichever method you choose, whether you choose Harleen's graph or you choose, um, you know, Subi's uh, graph instead, whichever method you choose, as long as you mess with it, have fun with it and all that um you can be able to you know you could do even more with the auto blinking if you so desire you can modify the graphs whatever um but either way though that's pretty much it for me i hope that this tutorial helped you out a lot in understanding two different nodes um for auto blinking and let me know if you have any other questions regarding uh vignon on what other things you can do but uh again um i can only do as much with vignon but definitely check out suvadrill's discord server um you can check it out you can report bugs request features um and much more in there you can definitely learn vignon in the discord server because basically Suadrail's Discord server is basically the official Vignon manual because um, there is no manual other than the Discord server so please join the Discord server it will help you greatly to learn Vignon but either way though I hope you guys have a lovely day and I'll see you guys next time bye bye